Hey guys, Brian Eckberg here, the show floor of E3 2010. We're at the EA Sports booth. We're checking out NBA Elite 11, of course. This is the new basketball game from EA Sports. The live franchise is no more. Elite is here, and Connor Dugan is here joining us. Tell us about Elite. As a, as I don't even know where to start with this game. Everything is new. Yeah, it's a completely different game. Brand new animation system, uh, brand new control scheme. And we really went there because we felt that there was no significant innovation in our previous iterations of basketball titles. It was more of, more of the same. And we really wanted to make a big change and give people more control, not getting stuck in any sort of two-player animations. And that's where Elite comes in. So no two-player animations, everything is directly controlled by the player, right? Everything. You know, no two-player animations, you don't get stuck. It's, it's, it's completely responsive. Uh, and basically the game does whatever you ask on the sticks. All right, well, speaking of the sticks, why don't you take us through some of this and show, you, show us what you can do with just the, just the controller itself. Sure. So if you look at um, the screen over here, as I move around, the left stick is, uh, is player movement, and the right stick is the hands. So I can cross over left to right. Uh, it's all one-to-one -one movement, so if I do it slow, he moves slow. If I do it quicker, he goes, he goes faster. I can mix in some hesitation dribbles, uh, and that's all just with the right stick. I can also do you know, between the leg dribbles by going down in diagonal, uh, and then behind the back, of course, by going down and around, as well as spin moves. So you can basically do any move in any direction you want, um, and you're never locked into any animation. Now, I'll go through shooting real quickly. Um, so how shooting works is you basically hold up on the right stick and release at the apex of your jump. And you can see right here, this is my sweet spot, okay. and this is sort of my, my power. So as I move around, my sweet spot gets bigger and smaller, and that'll be um, tied to player ratings. Right. So I'll, the whole thing is up and release at the apex of the jump, and it goes in. The cool thing is, if I miss left, just like in real life, ball goes left. Yeah. Or if I miss long or short, I'll just do a miss short here, and I, and I hit it off the front rim. Now, that shooting, dunking, um, is going towards the basket, straight up on the right stick uh, for a dunk, and I can also adjust my shot in midair. Yeah. So I go up on the right stick to the left and adjust the shot. Lower percent of shots, but it's important, um, you know, especially when uh, you're trying to attack the basket with some big seven-footer in the way. So looking at this, it seems like the most obvious advantage is not just the fact that everything controls but it's that it brings out the creativity of the person controlling that player exactly it's skill based so if you and i are playing when we're it's not us using lebron james it's us using lebron james skill and we're playing the game and it's really it's whoever has the most skill will end up winning the game it's worth pointing out that we have all these great offensive moves but these controls also apply to the defensive side of the ball as well right oh definitely definitely so I'll just pull this over. Yeah. Uh, try to demo defense as well. You want me to do the do some offense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's so see what I can do. Um, basically, down on the right stick is uh, is steel. Okay. So uh, as I'm just just stand right there. As I'm moving around, I can swipe and steal. Whereas in previous games, you'd always be stuck in one animation, or it would stop you, or it would lunge you. It's completely separating the left and the right stick, so I have full control over where I'm moving and I can steal at any point. Um, up on the right stick is for shot blocking. Okay, so. oh, and there I go, first yeah, one. Nice. Uh, and now I can also, uh, for more advanced controls, I can do a little bit of a push slide so I can tap my left stick to cut off the dribbler. Okay. But if I do it wrong, I can break my ankles. So if you just kind of dribble that way, yeah. and then I guess the wrong way, yeah. sometimes my ankles will get broken like right, like right there. Yeah. yeah. Nice. All right. And um, I can show you some more advanced moves please, as well. Please, absolutely. Uh, so one thing that a lot of people really like is our hop step, pro hops, uh, euro steps, and gathers. So to perform a hop step, just tap the left trigger, uh, and you get that big jump stop. You can do that in any direction. So I can attack the basket, gain some separation, step back, and miss my jumper. But um, <laughs> yeah. Even with King James. Exactly. Um, I can also do uh, sort of a one-foot takeoff by holding the left trigger, um, a la more of a Kobe-type move. And then we also have the Euro step. So 
I hold the left trigger and I can steer and step around and slice through the lane. And it's, it's really unprecedented control that you've never had before in a basketball game. I can do a spin, spin gather, finish it off with a dunk. Um, there's also layups as well, so I can roll up left, finish with the left hand, finish with the right hand. It's completely up to me. So I can come across the lane and uh, drop a little floater in with either hand. And that's just, that's just sort of the iceberg. I mean, we have back down moves. If you tap the, if you tap the back down, I can fake, I can spin out of that. I can go up and under with either hand. I can drop step uh, with the left trigger and shoot out of that. I mean, there's literally hundreds of moves that you can do um, and it's really up to you to create as a user. We're just giving you the tools and then it's up to the gamer to to decide how to use them. So I can imagine a long time live player comes to this game, they're going to need to spend some time in the practice mode to get used to this kind of thing. Do, do you think that's fair? I Totally. I mean, there's a, there's a learning curve. I mean, for some people it's 45 seconds, some people it's 10, 20 minutes, and, and really the more you play, the better you're going to be, just like real life. I mean, it's skill-based gaming now, as opposed to just pressing buttons and, and leaving it up to dice rolls. Yeah, and absolutely. So, uh, obviously, a lot of this influence comes from the NHL series. Uh, a very successful reboot of that series a few years ago. You're expecting the same kind of success for, for Elite? Uh, yes, uh, yeah. definitely. I mean, there's... And obviously, I'm a little biased working on the game, but, uh, you know, uh, getting used to this control scheme, you can't go back to, like I tried to play last year's game and I just can't do it because of lack of control and lack of responsiveness. All right, well, there you go. That's a demo from Connor Dugan of NBA Elite 11. You guys have a release date yet? Uh, early October. Early October. NBA Elite, uh, NBA Elite 11 coming in October.